according to estimates from Boeing, some 754 thousand aviation maintenance technicians are going to be needed around the globe in the next two decades. That's as the current uh, workforce ages out and the global travel industry continues to grow. Aviation High School in Queens is doing its part to train the industry's next generation of workers. Now, this isn't your typical four-year high school experience. Students like Genesis Santana will get a high school diploma, but they also have the opportunity to work towards not one, but two FAA certified licenses and enter directly into the workforce. I never thought that I could do all of this. Never in a million years would I think that I'd be working on a plane, I'd also be doing a regular high school curriculum, volunteering, doing so much, and aviation high school like opened those doors for me. Now, the high school partners with major carriers like Delta and JetBlue were live from their hangar this morning, but getting into the high school is extremely competitive. They say they receive about 4,000 applications for every 500 seats in each class. The licenses that they'll receive give them opportunities for competitive salaries without necessarily having to get a college degree. Our students uh, are getting a free license or two licenses that would cost between 20 and 40,000 at the college level. Uh, they can start once they graduate and get their license from the FAA, they can start at $25 an hour, possibly $30 an hour, where they're making about $70,000 out of high school. And in a few years, they can make a lot more than that. Now, not all of these students will go directly into the workforce. Jackson says a lot of them are first-generation students to have the opportunity to go to college. So many of them will attend college during the day and then pick up maybe a third shift at night working on airplanes just like this one, guys. Back over to you. Kate, it sounds like the airlines are really kind of putting themselves out. There's a lot of good things in the line. What, what, what are the, the, the hurdles that come up when they're actually trying to do recruiting? What's the problem? Yeah, one of the biggest problems, Becky, is something that I just mentioned, uh, getting young people to want to take on that shirt, that third shift. A lot of the uh, aircraft that they're working on need to be serviced overnight, so that's not something that's necessary, necessarily appealing to millennials, for example. Uh, there's also a gender gap within the industry. They're doing their part to recruit more women, but in speaking to the aviation high school principal, he said, you know, in the early 2000s, he, under 5% of the students there were women, and now it's closer to 20%. Becky, back over to you.